Angela McCaskill, an administrator at Gallaudet University, was placed on leave after officials discovered that she signed a petition at her church to put the issue of same-sex marriage on the ballot in Maryland. Tony Perkins, president of the Family Research Council, says it's a perfect example of intolerance in the name of tolerance. He joins us now live. Good to see you today, Tony. Good morning. What do you make of this case involving Dr. McCaskill and the fact that it was discovered that she said after she heard a sermon at her church, she signed this petition. It doesn't say whether you're for or against same-sex marriage. It simply says, I want the issue to be on the ballot. Well, this just shows the, uh, the hypocrisy in the academic world where they scream for tolerance, but there is no tolerance for those who don't abide by the liberal line of thinking. I want to read a, a statement from the president of the university just to make sure that we have them represented here. He said, in part, I'm sending this communication to indicate forcefully that Gallaudet University would like to work with its chief diversity officer, Dr. Angela McCaskill, to enable her to return to the community from her administrative leave. Dr. McCaskill has been and can continue to be a valued member of this community, and we're very much interested in working with everyone to come to a shared understanding in an environment that allows the community to rebound and move forward. Sounds like they want to work it out. Uh, yeah, if she apologizes and says, I, I, I wouldn't uh, support traditional marriage. Look, this, is, this should be frightening to every American. This is not just about uh, the freedom of speech. It's the ability to hold a job as well if you don't uh, go along with the liberal line of thinking. This is not just about uh, the marriage altar for same-sex couples. This is about altering the fundamental rights of Americans. The freedom of speech and the freedom of religion is at stake in this debate, and it's unfolding right before our eyes. I think it's been interesting to see people from all over the political spectrum make that point, come to her defense and say, yes. whether you agree with her or not, this is the United States of America, and the First Amendment and freedom of association, freedom of religion, all those things are very important. Oh, this is, this is terrible for them from the other side's perspective, those who are trying to redefine marriage, because this is the type of stuff they want to keep bottled up until uh, marriage laws are changed. Because they want to say, even in this case, uh, the governor pushed forward uh, when they we did this in the legislature last spring in Maryland, they, they ensured that religious freedom would be protected. But we're seeing now when Americans are being forced down this aisle of same-sex marriage, there is no protection for religious freedom. There's no re protection for the freedom of speech. And here, once again, this is not an isolated case, Shannon. We're seeing someone else's livelihood put at stake simply because they exercise their rights as an American. Now, what do you say to those who are concerned? Because she's the chief diversity officer there at Gallaudet University, where there is uh, a very vibrant, I understand, and very um, full LGBT community, and those who say, we're worried that if she would be fighting against same-sex marriage, that she's not going to help us as students and, and represent us well and treat us fairly. She's the chief diversity officer. The, the, the irony there, she is the chief diversity officer and inclusion officer. And that means includes everybody. And her record, as I understand it, has been uh, without question that she has sought to include everyone in the community. And look, let's be very clear. Everybody has fundamental basic rights, but that does not include the right to redefine marriage or take away other citizens' ability to participate in the process. And this is what we're seeing. It's an organized effort to intimidate and scare people from simply signing a petition, uh, voting in an election to uphold the natural and traditional definition of marriage. And again, regardless of what side people may be on this, Shannon, whether they're for same-sex marriage or not for same-sex marriage, they should all be concerned that what is really in the crosshairs here are fundamental, basic rights as Americans, the freedom of speech and the freedom of religion.